Last week I showed you how to make pretzel muffins and this week I'm going to show you how to make Obatsta, which you can spread on your pretzel muffins. For my Obatsta I need a couple of ingredients which I have put in this area. I'll come to this a little later. Um, first of all I need some camembert and I was buying some very soft, very ripe uh, camembert. I left it outside of the fridge for overnight so it's very very soft and almost liquid now. That's what I want. I also need half a butter stick. I need something that we call um, a spreadable cheese here and um, it's, I don't know if you can get it everywhere, um, let me just take one out so you see what kind of cheese I'm talking about. It's a um, spreadable cheese that looks like this and um, so if you cannot find it where you live, don't worry, that's why I have these ingredients. I will show you how to make it yourself because you can just use some scrap a cheese to make it and some other ingredients. But I'll come to that a little later. So let's uh, stay in the, in the um, Obatsta area. You might need a little bit of beer. Um, if you don't have beer or don't want to use it, you can just uh, use some carbonated water instead. You also need some salt, some pepper, and very important, you need some paprika. In Germany, we have a paprika that is called a rose spicy paprika. So don't go too mild on your paprika unless you prefer that as a taste. Um, this is a, just a regular paprika, and uh, I think it will do just fine. You also need half of a small onion and um, optional, some chives for decoration. So if you don't have the spreadable cheese I was talking about, then you can just use some leftover cheese that you have in your fridge and you can basically use any kind of cheese. You can use Parmesan, you can use these slices, some shredded cheese, or if you have a, a piece of gouda or anything in your, in your fridge that is a leftover or that you just want to use for this right now because you couldn't find the other uh, thing. Um, so this is the, the base of the, the spreadable cheese that you need and if you have a piece of cheese you need to cut it as small as possible. You also need a little bit of cream, whip, heavy whipping cream um, and you also need some cream fresh. The cream fresh in this case is working as an emulsifier and will be added to this at the very end. So let's start and make some of this um, spreadable cheese so you know how to make it if you can't get it the place where you are living. For that I will measure 65 gram of my cheese and you can see here this is 21, 42, let me add a little bit of my shredded cheese. This is actually half of a full recipe because I don't need very much of it and um, if you like spreadable cheese for your sandwiches for example uh, you can just do double of what I'm making here. All right so I will put this on the stove and I'm adding two teaspoons of cream Now I want this to melt. This will take a little bit. Okay, this looks good. And let me turn this off. And I add about two teaspoons of the creme fraiche. And I mix this in. Okay, and you see it's very 
nice from the consistency and I would usually just let this cool now and then use it for my obatsta or you can also use it on bread just like a bread spread it's very delicious so I used to put this on my kids school sandwiches all right okay but since I do have some of the store-bought um, spreadable cheese I will continue to use this and um, put this aside for later now back to the obatsta I have here my camembert and it, you, you can really see it's barely holding its shape and I will cut this into a little smaller pieces We'll make things a little bit easier in a minute. Okay, especially here at the at the rim, you see it's still a little less ripe keeping its shape a little more. Okay. All right, so that is a little of preparation that I had to do. And I will put this now in a bowl. And I add two of these Incredible cheeses. It should be about 30 gram of it. It's a little bit more than 30 gram, but that's okay. Just add this. And now I add half a butter stick. It has to be soft butter. Okay. So on the word Obatsta, the name, it comes from, <coughs> from an activity. It's, um, it's a Bavarian word for if you, if you mush something with your hands. And uh, usually, yeah, you do this with your hands. I'm not so very fond of doing this with my hands. I prefer to do it with a, with a fork. It is a little more difficult and I might have to switch to my hands, but I'm honest, trying to avoid it. Um, so what, what you have to do is to make this into a kind of cheese where you mix everything together. And usually it's done with your hands. Well, it goes very well. The camembert was really very ripe, very nice. And so it makes it a little easier for me to mush this all together. Okay, I think I'm on a good way here. And since I've made it this far, I can now use my mixer. Okay. Oops. So you see, this is not very creamy. Oh, I still need a very, see a very few Tiny little lumps here. I have to go through it one more time. Um, so if your obatsta is still not in the consistency that you want, or if you want to add a certain taste to it, you can add just a little bit of German beer to it. Um, I'm actually quite happy with the consistency of what I have, so I will not put any beer in it, but this would be the moment where you put some. If, if your camembert is not very ripe or if you just want it to be a little more liquid, 
Um, I personally like it when it keeps its shape and that's mostly what it's like in Bavaria. So I just mix it a little more so that all the smaller pieces get into this creamy mass. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that looks very good. Nice. Yeah, and now we are at the point where we want to add some of our paprika. And you start out with just a little bit of it. And so I just use like the top of my knife. And now you will find out why the Obatsda usually has a light, slightly reddish color. Comes from the paprika. Now let me taste a little bit of it. to add some more but still be careful um, I mean it depends on your taste maybe you like it if the paprika taste takes over I want it you know just to spice not to, to over take the taste of the camembert so I continue to be a little bit careful And a little more. And every camembert might be a little bit different. So sometimes they have a very strong taste, sometimes not. Some stink quite a bit. Um, this one doesn't, luckily. So this is definitely exactly where I wanted it to be. And now I add also a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. salt and pepper. Okay, and um, now it's time for the onion. And while I'm doing that, let me explain you a little bit about onions. Um, so we are using raw onions and if I want to serve the Obat star right away I don't have to take care of anything I can just cut my onions and put them into the Obat star but if I want to serve it later then it's better to leave the Obat star the way it is right now and cut and add the onions right before you want to serve your Obat star. The reason is um, if you add the raw onions to the Obat star right now, it's going to turn to a bitter taste. The entire Obat star will be bitter and will not taste very well. People won't like it. <clears throat> so that's something to avoid. Um, another way to, to fix this problem is that instead of using onions, you can use some fresh onions. They usually don't turn bitter. Um, still, if you want to have an original obatsta, you do it with onions. And you have to cut your onions very, 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 very small. Let me show you. 
So I usually go through here once. Okay, I cut this very, very fine like this. And of course, at the end of this video, I have to make some pictures of my Obat stuff. So I will not add the onions now. Um, I will do this a little later. I just wanted you to show how small these onions are cut. Okay, this is how small they are supposed to be. So as, as small as you can cut them, okay? All right. Yeah, so this is a basically how to make Obat star. I hope you like this video. I hope you learned a lot. You learned how to make spreadable cheese, how to make Obat star, and the thing about the onions and the bitter taste. Um, if you like this video, please give me another thumbs up and uh, stay tuned for the next video in this Oktoberfest series. Mm -hmm.